What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another one. I'm uh, gonna be honest with you, I'm just heading out here for a, an hour or two after work. It's a second to last day of rifle season here and uh, I'm still hanging on to a buck tag and a doe tag. So I came over here to my buddy's place and I'm just gonna try sitting one of these crep fields, which is uh, basically, they're just, um, they brush hog them every couple years, I think. So right now, the field I'm gonna go sit is just goldenrod, things like that, but it's kind of rainy out tonight, real drizzly and kind of miserable weather. It's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow, that's why I snuck out tonight. But um, I think they'll come out and feed in this kind of stuff. There's a lot of food in this tall grass you can see behind me. But uh, there's a big old maple tree we always sit when we drive over here. Someone always sits in. And I like the looks of it. I think some deer could come out out of there today. I, last time we were here, I saw a bunch of uh, scrapes in the snow where they're eating digs. So I'm just gonna go climb this tree and sit for an hour and a half and uh, see if anything pops out to us. Alright guys, I made it up the tree. I should have been a little bit quieter getting up here because I jumped. I don't know if they're feeding or what, but I jumped three, probably 80 yards away. Which, if I would have been a little quieter, Let's they smell them, but if I would have been a little quieter coming up this tree, I probably would have got them tonight. They took off like a rocket. They're not hanging out this time of the year, so. Gotta be careful so I don't fall out this tree, but it, it's working pretty good so far. All right, guys, those other three deer just left, and uh, I was just sitting here messing with my gut. I spotted a doe down here at about probably 215 yards. It's staring up here, so I'm gonna Get the camera on it and make a shot quick. shoot her when she turns broadside. It's about 215 yards. Alright guys, I think we just smoked one. I uh, was just telling the, after I got done telling you guys I saw it spook them three, I should have been quieter. I set the camera arm up, I'm looking around and man, that kind of looks like deer pull up. Sure enough, there's a doe standing down there, probably right in the corner, about 215 yards staring at me. And it took me forever to get the camera on because my camera arm's level. I'm just standing here in this tree. My camera arm's not level, I kept wanting to swing back. so. I come to think of it, she was started walking back and I whistled and she stopped and I shot. I'm really hoping it's still on frame, but we're gonna go down there. I think I got her pretty good. She jumped way up in here. So let's go down there and uh, see if we can't find her laying down there. And if so, that's about the quickest rifle hunt I've ever been on because I've only been here about 10 minutes. But it's gonna get dark early tonight because it's so foggy, but we'll crawl out of this tree and uh, Get down there, see if we got a doe on the ground or not. I'm pretty sure we do. All 
Alright, we're just getting down here. Might have been a little farther than I thought, guys. That tree is still way up there, and I still got another 80, 90 yards to go. I just spooked another fawn right here. So, should be. It's going to be kind of tough to tell where she was actually standing, but that's one of the benefits of the video. I'll rewatch the video. I know she was left of this one pine tree, but it's hard to tell how far along she was. There's no snow, but the way she jumped, she cannot be far. A lot of you guys might be asking why I wouldn't just stay in the tree and wait for a buck if I got a buck tag. But here in PA, you have to tag the first animal before you can shoot the next one. So it does kind of suck because you could wait for the next buck. I kind of get the rule, but so it's better just to go track this and then maybe we'll go check a field for a buck if we find this one right away here. All right, guys, found it. I was just looking around, kept re-watching the video, like double checking where I shot this thing. I knew I shot it in between some of these pine trees, but then you know how it looks different. But I was right where I hit it. It's laying right here, and uh, looks like I made a little bit of a mistake. Maybe it's a little bit smaller than I thought. And something looks up with this, guys. It has that, what the heck is that? got all these nasty warts on it and I'm really hoping it's not a button buck eh, son of a gun <sighs> I haven't shot a button buck in a long time seems to be the year of the button buck all my buddies have shot button bucks he's not super small like a this year's fawn I mean it's no 200 pounder but guys take a look at it it's kind of mid-sized, definitely small, but not super small, but the nastiest. It's got a decent sized head on it. Nasty warts on it. Look at that. That's just disgusting. And it looks like I saw one here. Look at that. Nasty pus on it. I don't know. We're going to have to give this one the once over I think but probably a good one to shoot anyway not that I knew it had warts on it because I didn't even know it was a button buck but we're gonna get this sucker tagged and let's see where we hit it oh baby smoked him dead nuts right on baby he took a 243 right in the shoulder it looks like I knew this gun was shooting a little low at 200 because I had it sighted in for like, I shot it the other day, I was a little bit under at 100. So I just held a little high on his shoulder. It looks like it rocked him. He didn't go far, maybe 20 yards. I thought he would be in the woods. We're gonna get him tagged and uh, maybe I'll check the fields down there for a buck quick and we'll head out. All right, guys, we just got this sucker skinned and cleaned. And uh, as you can see, I think, as you probably already are thinking in the video, uh, it is definitely not a button buck. It's actually a buck that had lost its antlers already. And uh, here's a full-size doe here that Grandpa shot today. And it is not much smaller. Now, it is thin. It has, like, zero fat on it. And you can see its spine sticking out compared to this deer is loaded with fat. And we've had tons of acorns this year, so it's kind of weird. And a couple bucks we've shot over there have been thin like that. But there's nothing I could do. I couldn't really tell it was a buck that far away. It just looked like a doe to me. But Innie's right here. Yeah, Innie would be right there, right behind the front shoulder. For a 243, it did some damage, and it came out. Justin gets the camera in here, right there. Get the light on it. Came out right there. And uh, you can see it broke a couple ribs on each side. But deer only went a little ways. First buck I've ever shot like that. And it looked like it had lost its antlers for a while. So comment if you think know much about that or the warts or anything. Kind of curious. But I measured it out. 235 yards by far my best shot ever. So uh, all you guys saying we need to go to the range, I guess, in the comments, the last couple videos, <laughs> leave that for Levi, I smoked this one tonight, but uh, anyways, we're going driving again tomorrow, so we got some great videos coming, 
Go check them out after this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.